Bovine tuberculosis poses a major risk to New Zealand's national and regional economies by threatening exports of beef, dairy and venison products worth around $12 billion per year. But it can also have devastating emotional and financial impacts on individual farmers and the rural communities in which they live. It was pretty severe on farmers and I think there were certainly were some farms that did go either went to the wall or changed from dairy to beef. We were lepers. The Buller farmers were lepers compared to the Karamea farmers and, uh, mm. and the Nangahua. It was a stigma in the whole, whole district. I remember in 1977 counting one herd where over 10 years he'd lost a thousand animals as reactors. It was um, about 37 years ago actually I decided to, I would go farming on my own and we bought a small property at Bodytown which is just out of Greymouth. Um, and my father actually very generously gave me a small herd of elite heifers, Hereford heifers, which were almost stud heifers, and um, I was very proud to receive these heifers, and a bull to go with them, and we took them to this place, and within 18 months they were TB tested and they all went to the works with TB. Some farmers who actually had big hits of TB, you know, their first experience of TB, would even feel they would be depressed and they would, some were suicidal. It was really, really, they felt failures and they felt ashamed. They thought their neighbours would be all looking over the fence at them and thinking there was something dirty about them, you know. As a deer farmer, um, financially, we're not compensated for any animals that are slaughtered, you know, that are suspect TB that have to be slaughtered. So we don't get compensated, we have to take that on the chin. Um, and that can mount up if you're killing 25 to 50 animals a year, um, that mounts up. We were thinking seriously of just quitting the deer, just killing them all. Didn't want to. One particular year I had to kill all my replacement progeny. Uh, had to go out because we found it in them and we couldn't take the risk of retaining them, so we killed the whole lot. Logistically, to test 1,400 deer in one day, we used to have six guys here, and it was all go, mud everywhere. Uh, it was a horrendous effort, and to have to do it twice a year, and then you had the cost that I've already covered on top of that, and then emotionally, when you were getting reactor after reactor and coming back as having had TB. Um, the emotional side of it, my wife and I have often talked about it, that yeah, you sort of wondered if it was all worthwhile. Some years ago, on the property I farmed, it was a property called The Dune, we got caught with a TB reactor. It's a hard hill country property. We had to continue selling those wiener calves every year. And to see them go into the Colvin and calf sale with that big white tag in their ear and the subsequent dramatic uh, markdown in the pricing is something that I won't forget. The TB epidemic in New Zealand reached its peak in 1994. Thousands of farms across the country were affected. Tens of thousands of cows and deer were destroyed. Relationships were strained. And friendships tested. It was the worst epidemic New Zealand's beef, dairy and deer industries had ever faced.